Um, theater was built in uh, 1989, well it opened in 1989 at the same time as the museum. It was um, a unique thing. It was the first theater in the entire world to have both an IMAX screen and an IMAX dome. 3D has been embraced by IMAX filmmakers, the traditional 45 minute films, and more and more people are making films that way and we want to present them to people the way they're supposed to be seen. And we've decided now, finally able to go 3D, something we've wanted to do for a long time and something that engineering has finally evolved and we can do so. We kept the dome because we love the dome. The dome is this unique, wonderful experience. When it comes down, it's literally 180 degrees. You can see from one side to the other side. It is a full 180 degree image that you're seeing. It's very different from 3D. It's very much, you feel like you're in the picture that much more, while 3D sort of pops out at you. In order to make an IMAX theater 3D, there are two specific things you need besides these. You need one, a screen. That screen has to be covered in a silver paint. Um, we have that. We have a 4,000 square foot screen. It is massive. Then you need a projector. In this case, for 3D, you have two projectors that work together at the same time, producing an image for your right eye and your left eye. They throw an image onto the screen that overlaps, and with the magic of your glasses, you end up with images popping off the screen. Since we were doing the renovation, we were like, you know what, we can also do sound. We can increase our sound output. We went from 15,000 watts to 30,000 watts of sound, and it makes the IMAX experience. IMAX is about crystal clear sound, beautiful, perfect images. That's what we've got.